Jacksonville, Alabama. The Quiz Angelo, marching aggregation with a true award-winning and rich historical tradition of musical and performance excellence is here. If you know anything about the SWAC, you will know that it is a story conference filled with Hall of Fame athletes and legendary coaches. From Jackson State's Walter Payton, Southern's Mel Blunt, Alcorn's Steve Air McNair, Prairie View A&M's Kenny Houston, and the topic of today's video, Mississippi Valley State with the best receiver of all time, Jerry Rice. While the conference is filled with history, some schools' history is filled with more losses than others. Valley fits that mold. They began competing in football in 1953. In their 68-year history, they have an overall record of 244 wins, 419 losses, and 10 draws, which calculates to a win percentage of 37%. While that may be rough, it's not all doom and gloom. I'm going to tell you why. Valley is the school in the swag that is the one to watch out for. Yo, 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 what's popping on my party, DJ? And I am famous, famous, Mr. I bet you won't. Famous, 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 bam. And this here is the HBCU. Tailgate, turn up. Like, oh, like, oh. Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Reggie from HBCU Spotlight, and I'm back with another banger. If you are new, I make content like this all the time. If you enjoy it, hit that noti bell, hit the like button, and subscribe. Without further ado, let's get into it. Here are three reasons why Mississippi Valley State will be in the running for the SWAC Championship in the near future. And number three, we're gonna go with Mississippi Valley State's play style. They're led by their defense which is really gritty. They have a real dog lunch pail culture. If you don't believe me, take my man off script's word for it. He did an interview with their defensive lineman star, Jerry Gardner Jr. When do you feel more like what do you feel more comfortable being in? Uh either one. I like the DN, but I either one. Dropping. I played linebacker in high school, so I'm comfortable either one. Okay, okay. All right, too easy. Describe yourself as a D lineman. I say I'm a run stop first. Uh, my pass rush is is um power to uh, finesse, okay. but um hustle player. Okay, okay. How would your teammates describe you? Uh, they'll probably say I'm the guy that uh you know lead by example. If I like if I'm doing wrong, if I see you doing something wrong, or if I make a mistake on the field, they'll be shocked. They'll be surprised. That's respect. Yeah. That's respect. Who would you say your game is most like in the NFL? I don't know. I don't know. I can't even make no comparison. Okay. Okay. I can rock with that. Being an Alabama kid, why Mississippi Valley State? Man, coming out of high school, I didn't really have a lot of offers. I only mm -hmm. played one year linebacker, so that's all the film I had with that one year. Mm -hmm. And uh, Valley was the one they were showing the most love. So um, I um, came in as a preferred walk-on. Wow. That's what's up. That is what's up. Okay. Now, listen, this is – I got to ask, and listen, if you ever get a chance to – uh, well, if you ever get a chance, it's your freaking coach. I would love to talk to Coach. I am a fan of Coach Dancy. How is he as a coach? Man, Coach Dancy, I'm first. I'm going to start off the man. It's funny. It's, 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 it's <laughs> like – Every day he's like he keep comedy, but I didn't even try him. But um, uh -huh. man, he he a great guy, good coach. Man, he really changed the culture when he got here, when he got the head coach job. And man, he, every day we he come out, he he just want us to come out, play hard, fight, and um, he just got that grit about him. And I think it showed when we play too. And, and number two, the reason Mississippi Valley State is on the rise in the swag is because of their coach, Vincent Dancy. 
the thing that stands out about Mississippi Valley State is just what I think is heart. Heart, fight, resiliency. And from the first time that I stepped foot in Itabina, uh, we saw that in a game against Jackson State a few years back. How have you all improved and what we, what we would, uh, excuse me, and what are we looking forward to for the upcoming year? I think experience. Experience is, is the test of all, all things. And I think um, over, the, over the course of three years, uh, you, you can see the improvement. Yeah, the wins don't equate to um, how well we played in games, but the physicality, the, physicality, the grit, the grind, um, I think that's what I bring every day to these young men. Uh, we waking up every morning, and that's what they see. They see me, and they see the grind. So I think it just rolls over to these young men. But um, just pleased to have these two guys with me today. You know, um, of course, you guys know transfer portal, but being able they to stay. have these guys, they stay. Mm -hmm. You know, so um, of course they love it. Yeah, and 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 so as as coach brings that up, I want to ask you guys, why did you stay? Uh, I feel like he took a chance on me out of high school. I'm loyal to the soil. I believe in Coach Dance, and I believe in our team. I don't want to go anywhere else. Uh, I've been with Coach Dance for four years, and I had contemplated leaving, but I felt um, after I prayed on it that it was best for me to stay, you know, be loyal to my team and stay and stick it out. And on behalf of HBCU fans and alum everywhere, uh, glad y'all decided to stay. That, that, that means a lot. Mm -hmm. Says so. Coach Dancy took over Mississippi Valley State's football program in January 2018. Prior to taking over, he served as Valley's defensive coordinator since January 2015, before being appointed to the interim coach role in November of 2017. Coach Dancy has a proven track record. In 2014, he was the defensive coordinator for Payne College in Augusta, Georgia. The Lions finished ninth in Division II national ranking in pass defense in the school's first year of football in nearly 50 years. Now you know I couldn't make a SWAC video without mentioning the most loved and the hated of all SWAC schools. But prior to his one year stint at Payne, Dancy spent four years at Jackson State University from 2009 to 13, coaching outside linebackers as a graduate assistant before becoming the full-time safeties coach. In 2012, Jackson State secondary led the conference in takeaways with 10 INTs. They were also ranked number one in their total defense. Dancy graduated from Jackson State, where he was also a standout student athlete. He was a four-year letterman in football, and he was an all-swag performer at safety and linebacker. And the number one reason, in my opinion, why Valley is on the rise in the swag is because of their recruiting. Everything is virtual these days, especially with COVID being an issue. Players aren't able to visit schools, and coaches aren't able to get in living rooms anymore. Valley's running back coach and defensive coordinator, Dwayne Lucky, is bridging that gap. He is always posting about positions that he is looking for and getting tons of responses. Side note, if you are a talented high school football player, feel like you're getting overlooked, and want a chance to be a part of the reason why our program is winning, Mississippi Valley State may be the school for you. Slide your huddle film inside Coach Lucky's DMs on Twitter at Coach D. Lucky. I'm sure he wouldn't mind. Valley's recruiting style right now is interesting, and I'm not sure too many people are aware of it. They've signed a six foot five wide receiver, Chuck Bradley, from the Sunshine State of Florida. For my wins, I need my hands. This life is real. Don't they pretend? Came off the bench. I get it in. I get it in. I get it in. And for my wins, I need my hands. This life is real. Don't they pretend? Came off the bench. I get it in. I get it in. I get it in. I'm on my job. I get it done, but you should know that. Shine like a sun of 101, you should know that I get the front and in the back, you should know that No need to stun, it's never cap, you should know that All I know, ten toes, never fold, bang roll And they have also signed another 6'5 giant But this player happens to play quarterback from Texas And TJ Goodwin
Many people may look at these signings and think, so what? But Valley's recruiters are smarter than you think. They are trying to take their small school in Itabina, Mississippi and put them on a national level. It's chess, not checkers. In the class of 2023 and 2024, currently high school juniors and sophomores, all of the players that the Delta Devils have offered scholarships to are from the state of California. The TV deals and publicity that the SWAC has received recently may be the perfect combination to turn this program around. The most important game on Valley's schedule this season will be against Southern on September 26, which is a home game. This game is important because it will be played on one of the ESPN networks, so new eyeballs that are not familiar with the program will be able to see them play. As of now, that will be their only televised game this season, unless they make it to the SWAC championship that will take place on December 4th on ESPNU. And if they win, they will play in the Celebration Bowl on December 18th on ABC. Either way, the only way Valley can go right now is up. Thanks for watching the video. If you made it to the end, type in Let's Go Valley in the comment section. I want to hear from y'all. What do you think about my list? Do you actually think Valley is on the rise right now? Let's keep growing and supporting the historically black colleges that we all love. We on the road to 10K. From us, over here at HBCU Spotlight, we're rooting for you, Valley, and looking forward to seeing you shine on the field. We out of here. Peace.